95% of our time was just waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, and then there'll be a few moments of sort of terrifying confusion. Um, and then suddenly it's all over again. Jamie Jensen recorded his life in Syria on a video camera. An aid worker, he wanted to do more, so volunteered to fight against the so-called Islamic State group alongside allied troops as part of the US-backed YPG Kurdish militia. These are some of the, the, the British people who've died. When he returned, aware of the government's warnings that prosecution could face those who join a foreign conflict, he was arrested under the Terrorism Act. I, I was pretty sure I'd be arrested, but I, I didn't really know what else to expect. What he didn't expect was to still be officially under investigation a year on from his arrest. After six months, I'd still heard nothing, and I, um, I'd realised that many of my friends have actually been in this under investigation cloud for two or three years now. I mean, if I'm having an anxious day, I'll realise that at any point the police could come and arrest me. I mean, if you think I'm a terrorist, then put me in front of a jury and I'll explain why I went. Jim Matthews from Dalston, seen here attending court last year, has been one of the most high-profile YPG volunteer cases. The CPS took two years deciding to press charges and then dropped the case. For the Kurdish community in the UK, this treatment of Kurdish volunteer fighters is criminalising their efforts. They're on the side of good people and they have taken part in a battle and those uh, you know, lunatics of Islamic State have been targeting us here in London. So those who have taken um, part in the struggle should be um, supported rather than criminalised here in the UK. The group that the British volunteers fought for, the YPG, is not defined as a terrorist organisation by the Home Office. But there is a Kurdish group that is, the PKK. And as far as the Turkish state are concerned, the two groups are one of the same thing. But Turkey are isolated in this view. One expert here believes the UK's tough starts is more about underlining that fighting abroad for any cause could lead to prosecution. The difficulty with counter-terrorism legislation is it doesn't so much focus on the, the motivations or the, the cause, it focuses much more on the offence. You know, the actual mechanics of preparing for battle are probably quite similar no matter which group you join. The Met Police told us some inquiries can be complex. Once a decision is made regarding an individual who is under investigation, police will seek to advise them of the outcome as soon as possible. For Jamie, he hopes that moment will come soon. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.